Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling. Activate the core, ribs toward your spine and up, and let your low back have some support. And then inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down. And then exhale the hands behind you. Spread your toes, lift your heart, and stretch your head away. Pivot over as you exhale and relax. Hands up toward the ceiling. Move your head around, get your neck released. Sitting bones lifting, stretching the back of your leg. And then bend your knees slightly. Inhale your weight all the way up. And again, lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch your head back into a back bend. So just a nice, gentle warm up. Breathing, stretching. Inhale upright, release your arms. And just take a moment, feeling your circulation increase. Spread your toes. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Another upper body back bend, lifting your heart, and then once more pivot at your hips, deepen into that position as much as you like. Release your neck, bring your hands toward your head, let your shoulders get a little movement. And then bending your knees once more, wind from the bottom of the spine all the way back up, and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too high. Stretch your neck. Inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment in mountain pose, feeling what your body is telling you. And let's do our side stretches. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your hands, bring them back by your ears along your sides and keep your body facing the front. Exhale, lean over to one side, push the foot you're leaning away from them, reach out through your hands and head. Feel the ribs stretch apart. Inhale back to the center, keep the shoulders down as you switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, sitting bones away from your crown and lean to the opposite side. No leaning forward, just straight to the side. Push the foot down and the hands away as you open those ribs. And again, inhale back up and exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling the sides after that lateral motion and get ready for our twist. So stretch your spine apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Arms by your ears, sitting bones down, crown high. Really stretch that spine apart and exhale to twist. Turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder. Keep your arms by your ears. Sink evenly into both feet. And on an exhalation, pivot over. Stay in your twist. Keep the weight on both feet. And again, lifting your sitting bones, stretch the whole back of your body. And in your twist, weight still on both feet, work your way back up. And again, upper body only, back bending all your twisting. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. Take a few moments, lengthening and breathing. Inhale upright, exhale to the center, switch your arms, and again, bring them back by your ears. Stretch your spine apart to twist to the other side. Another breath. Exhale, open. And again, just deepen as much as you want on this twist forward position. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Lift your sitting bones, relax a little deeper. And then slowly in the twist, work your way up into that upper body back bend. Shoulders down. Chest high, elbows back, stretch your head away. Weight on both feet even. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, extended mountain. 
Feel your body, lengthen it and pivot it. Your hips are still by your ears. Come parallel to the floor if you can. And then drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders, bend your knees slightly. And one more roll up from the bottom of your spine back into mountain pose. As you get all the way up, just feel your spine more activated. And then just gently turning your toes slightly out, bend your knees not beyond your toes, just toward them. Hands above your knees, don't press down. Just keep your shoulders positioned over your toes. Stretch your long spine straight and open, and we'll twist again. So exhaling, just bring your shoulder across toward the opposite knee, coming down as much as you'd like. Hips, ribs, and shoulder turning, not just your head. Take a breath, just relax. And then turn back to the center, stretch it open again, exhale, turn to the opposite side. And again, the shoulder comes down and across, the hip goes up as the hips, ribs, and shoulder turn looking to the side. Exhale, turn back to the center, tuck in your chin and round from the bottom of your spine again back up. Toes to the front into mountain pose. Take a moment, breathing, exhaling any tension. And then let's just step wide. And we'll do a little warrioring. So it's going to be a little core intense. So just be gentle if you need to. I'm going to bring the arms to shoulder level to start with. Spread your toes out. Feet as wide apart as you'd like. Turn one foot to the side, but don't turn your hips or shoulders. And then heel back, toes forward on that leg behind you. Take a moment to get the weight into both feet evenly and keep it that way. And then bend your front knee right above your ankle. Sink your hips straight down, coming into warrior two. Spread your toes out, get the weight into that back foot as much as the front foot. And make sure that the body isn't pushing forward, just straight down. Feel the legs working, feel that core activating. Keep your shoulders relaxed, crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment and breathe. The wider your feet are apart, the more that front thigh can get parallel to the floor if you want to go that deep. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension. And then straighten your knee, turn both feet back to the front into your star position, and release your arms for a moment. Take a breath, let everything relax. And of course, we'll balance the body and do our warrior to the opposite side. So again, weight into both feet evenly, arms up at shoulder level, palms toward the floor. Turn that opposite foot to the side all the way, and then heel back, toes forward, but keep this back hip back so you're not turning the hips to the front. Take a moment to spread the toes and sink evenly into both feet, and then bending your front knee right above your ankle, sink straight down with your hips. So as you're in that position, just really spreading the toes, getting the weight into both feet, including that little toe side of your back foot as evenly as you can. You can check to make sure that your knee isn't leaning in or out. You want it right above your ankle so that you can see your big toe only. Spread the toes, sink straight down. Exhale any tension. Make sure you're not pushing forward at this moment, just sinking. Exhaling. So warrior two should be as effortless as the rest of your yoga. So make sure that both feet are supporting you. Shoulders are relaxing. Everything just breathing and relaxing into the position. And again, straightening your front knee, turn the feet forward, energize your star, and release your arms for a moment. Take a breath. So we're going to build from warrior two to a couple other things. So it's 
active, but it's kind of gentle active, so it should be fairly easy as long as you can get evenly distributing your weight in your warrior legs. So again, feet are straight ahead, open hips, open shoulders, arms at shoulder width. Feet turning, so the one foot goes first, 90 degrees, but don't turn your hips. Heel back, toes forward still, no hip movement, everything facing the side. Again, we're moving into warrior two, sinking that knee over your ankle. Checking to make sure you can see the big toe so that it's not pushing out and seeing all the toes or in and disguising that big toe. Spread your toes, really get those feet supporting you evenly. Take a breath, just relax. Know that warrior two should be effortless. So just let your body sink and relax. And then we're going to go into a side angle. So push forward from your hip as far as you can go. You can bend the elbow and bring it above your knee. Turn the palm to the front and up toward the ceiling. Bring it up and over next to your ear. So from the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder, out through your fingertips, everything is in a nice straight line. Push way into that back foot, out through the fingers and head. And remember, the arm on your knee is not supporting you, just positioning. Take a moment and stretch it out a little more. Shoulders bow, shoulder blades toward your waist. And then bring the arm in the air up, pivoting back into warrior two. So the legs didn't move at all. Notice what's going on as you breathe. And then straightening your knee and turning your feet forward. Energize your star and release. And of course, we're going to balance going the opposite way. Spread your toes, sitting bones down, core active, shoulders above your hips, relaxing you. Arms at shoulder level, turn the foot all the way to the side, heel back, toes forward, keep those hips where they started, pull it back. Take a moment and breathe. And again, bending your front knee, sink right straight down into warrior two. Spread your toes. Get really comfortable into both feet. Exhale. Relax any tension. So the weight should be as much into your back toes, back side of your foot, on that back leg, as into that front knee. Take a moment, just situating, making sure that everything is comfortable, shoulders relaxing, arms staying at shoulder level. Take a moment to breathe. And then from that hip joint again, we're pushing to the side as far as you can go. Bend your elbow above your knee. Other hand comes up, turning to your head and reaching over, getting as much of a straight line from your ankle to your fingertips as you can. Take a moment and breathe, push way into that back foot and sink straight down. Feel that side stretch opening through your ribs. Stretch out through your head and fingers, sink into that back foot and don't put pressure into that front elbow. Just keep its position in you. Take a few breaths, stretching it out. Exhale, any tension. And then bringing your hand back up, coming into your warrior two. Notice that your legs didn't have to move at all. Take a moment and breathe. Straighten your front knee, turning your feet forward. Find your star position, energize from the heart out, and release. As you get back into your wide leg position, just notice what's going on. A little bit more heat maybe in that midsection from the warrior pose, but otherwise pretty gentle through your body. So if your legs have been comfortable where they are, you can keep them there. You can make them wider if you want to go deeper or a little closer if you want to be a little bit easier on your legs. We're going to do one more version of that position. So again, sink evenly into your feet, push your sitting bones down, activate your core, relax your shoulders, 
Bring your arms to shoulder level. Turn your feet. The first one goes all the way to the side. The second one goes heel back, toes forward. Remember that back hip stays back. You're not turning toward the front. We're still in warrior two when we bend that front knee. So again, sinking into your warrior two, check your positioning. Make sure that you've got your weight into the back foot as well as the front foot. Take a moment to breathe. So if you like that and you want to do the same thing, you can keep the elbow on the knee. This time we're going to go a little further. So push, 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 palms to the front, and then just pivot, bringing one hand down along the leg and the other one straight up. And again, sink that hip as much as you can behind you. Take a moment to breathe. Stretch your head out. Keep that top hip back and keep your knee over your ankle. Take a moment and breathe. You can bring that arm again next to your ear. So you're a little deeper, may not be quite as straight. If you have your legs further apart, it'll be straighter. Take a moment to breathe. Sink evenly into both feet, even though you're leaning way to the front. So really push into that back foot. Take your arm back up and into your warrior two. So notice your legs didn't move. You're still in the same leg position. Straighten the knee, feet to the front, and release. And of course, we're doing the same thing to the other side. So if you found that your legs weren't in the right place, go ahead and make an adjustment. And we'll start again, arms at shoulder level. Keep the core active, the shoulders down, sitting bones toward the floor, crown high, turning your feet back into your starting position. Don't pull that hip, keep it back. And again, bending your front knees, sinking into your warrior position. Spread your toes, get comfortable there. Check your positioning of your knee over your ankle. You want that stability as we go into our position. Take a breath. Turn the palms to the front, pushing way out and pivoting. And again, the hand comes along the leg. It's not holding you up. It's just making sure that your arms stay straight across from each other. Knee above the ankle, push into that back foot. And again, if you want, you can bring the arm next to your ear. Stretch it out, feel those ribs open. Exhale any stress or tension, keep stretching out through the spine, through the crown, back into that back foot. And again, using that hand in the air, bring it back up, pivot back into your warrior two. Shoulders down, palms toward the floor, straighten your knee, feet to the front. Or, or, energize your star <laughs> and release. So if you loved that, you can stick with that one, or you can go back to that previous version, or just stick with playing on the warrior two. But we have one more version. This one's a little bit more complex. So if you've got tummy issues, this may not be the one for you to do today. Take a moment to breathe. <clears throat> Sink evenly into your feet. Activate your core, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And again, arms at shoulder level. Turn your foot. 90 degrees, and the other one, heel back, toes forward. Keep those hips facing where they started. Take a moment to breathe as you bend your front knee into your warrior two, spreading your toes, getting that weight evenly distributed on both feet, and don't forget to breathe. Once again, we're going to push, push, push to the front, palms turning forward as you pivot, Arms right above each other, stay there, sink into that back foot. And if you want a little bit more interest, we're going to bring the arm to the front and pull it back and bend the other arm and see if you can clasp behind you in a bound position. So this is going to keep that body nice and open to the side. Top shoulder coming back, head reaching out. Ankle right, or knee right above the ankle, and sink into that back foot as much as the front foot. 
if you don't want to go there or can't, then you can just hold your hand on your hip or you can keep the arms across from each other where they go. And coming back to your arms straight up and down position, pivot back up into your warrior two. Seat down, straighten your knee, turn the feet forward, and release. Take a moment and breathe. Tension out. Just noticing how you're maybe a little bit more activated through that midsection. Spread your toes, get comfortable in your feet, because we have to balance the body and do the opposite side once more. So remember, you can always go back to a previous version. You don't have to go all the way to the final result. So once again, sink into your feet, activate your core, relax your shoulders, arms at shoulder level. Turn your foot, heel back, toes forward, keep this hip back, come on. Breathe, bend your knee, exhale, sink into your warrior two, spreading your toes, Get the weight into that back foot equally with the front leg. Shoulders relaxed. Stretch out the fingers. Push to the side. And again, you can pivot down. Arms right across from each other, staying there if you love it. Or bring the arm to the inside. Bend the top the elbow. See if you can clasp behind you in a bound position. Weight into both feet evenly, head reaching to the side. And if you can't clasp your hands, just bring them wherever they work. You can keep it on your side or do it on the floor or wherever it naturally goes. Take a breath, stretch it out. Exhale, just sink into your feet evenly. And bring your hands back straight across from each other. Use that hand in the air to pivot back up into your warrior two. Straighten that front knee, turning into your star position. Stretch it out, shoulders relaxed. And as you exhale this time, step into mountain pose. Take a moment to breathe. All that warrior energy, heating and energizing you a little bit more. And then bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, bring the hands toward the ceiling, pulling the thumbs back for a little back bend, and swan dive forward. Pivot all the way down into round dog. Hands up under your knees until you're halfway up stretch. And then exhaling, bend your knees, coming to the floor into child's pose for a little release. Hips back toward your heels, forehead down toward the floor, shoulders relaxed. Take a moment, just breathe, and to the out. And then inhaling, sit up, and we'll do one more side stretch. So come on up onto your hands and knees into table position. So get those ribs up, supporting your low back. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Knees under your hips, toes straight back. I'm going to do a gate pose for our side stretch this time. So bring one foot out to the front and walk your hands back up so that your hips are even right above that front ankle and the other leg is straight out to the side. Keep that arm on your leg, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Keep the shoulder, shoulder blades down and bring the arm by your ear as you slide your hand along the leg, coming into that side stretch one more time. Take a breath, feel those ribs open. Keep your shoulder back. Keep your hips even to the foot. Take a breath, stretch it out. Inhale back straight up. Exhale that arm down and coming back into table position. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up, hips right under your knees. Stretch your spine apart and bring that other feet out to the side. Keep those hips even as you walk the hands back up onto your body, keeping the hips facing forward, shoulders facing the front. Hand on that leg, the other one out, toes to the front. 
and turn the palm toward the ceiling as you bring that arm up and slide to the side. Keep the hip back, don't lean forward. And just bring that arm next to your ear, opening the ribs, stretching that side of your body. Take a breath. Just relaxing into your position as far as you want to go. Let that hand just slide as far as it wants. Keep the hip back, keep the hips open. Shoulders relaxed, arm coming up and back around into table. And then sinking your hips back to your heels, slide off, bring the feet to the end of the mat into staff position. Core active, supporting you as you lower to the floor. And as you get all the way down, bring your arms to T position for our final twist, just gently today. Hands, palms up or down, we'll do our bent knee twist. So sitting bones towards your heels, heels in towards your hips, knees straight up. Bring your feet off the floor and breathe. Keeping those knees right above the hips, just roll them to the side and turn your head toward the opposite side. Shoulders, shoulder blades down for your middle back twist. Hands, palms up or down, whatever makes that easier for you. Turn your head if your neck can stand that, giving a little neck area twist. And the more the knees come toward the floor, the more that lower back twist. Pad if you need to. Always personal practice, especially on the twist. Hands right at shoulder level, just let those shoulders sink. Exhaling, deepening into your twist. And of course, bring your heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back, getting ready to twist to the other side. Straighten things out if you need to. And again, knees above your hips, rolling at hip level over toward the floor, turning your head to the opposite side as much as you want. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. Just going deeply into that twist as much or little as you like. Take a breath, knees coming down for that low back twist, head turning for your neck if it needs it. And of course, just allow those shoulders to stay on the floor so that middle back gets a nice maximized twist as well. Take a breath, again, just deepening into your twist position as much as your body needs. And of course, you have to release that. So heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, bring your feet to the floor, sliding them out. Toes toward each other, hands near your hips, shoulders down, hands, palms up. And just let your body sink in ellipse position for your relaxation. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension, just let your body grow heavy. Sinking deep into that surface beneath you. Soften your belly. Let it sink along with everything into that earth support. Deep breaths, just exhale and letting everything go. And as you relax your body completely from all that you're energizing, just allow your body to release from your awareness as well. And as that happens, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let those new thoughts drift away as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let your body soften and your mind release, drifting away. And allow your body and mind both to relax completely without attention, letting your awareness turn to the peace within. Feel your body, feel your mind. Just take a few moments breathing, being, peace.
Of course, if that relaxation feels good today, you want to relax even longer, take your time. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, and draw energy and awareness with the breath. Back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, heels up toward your hips, drawing your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate it some yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up and getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Take a moment to breathe. Thanks for joining me.